Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday, August 16th, which is also Mike Williams' birthday. And you still have time to wish him a happy birthday if you'd like. Just go to his Facebook page and write on his wall. Now it's time for the weekend video. Get ready. Hey folks, today I want to talk about uh, something I saw on the internet again, <clears throat> and uh, it's in a group that I got put into. I didn't join it personally, but some people decided I needed to be in it and put me there. And it's a group of former churchgoers. They no longer go to church. They gave up on church. They gave up on uh, the currently accepted Christian message. And for the most part, they believe that uh, all are saved and um, very few of them are actually gospel revolutionaries so they differ in, in their approach to that but in general that's what it is and um, so occasionally I see their posts and somebody posted last night and it was almost heartbreaking really uh, this person posted and, and obviously understands that he is uh, a new creation that we are all in born to, into the new creation um, but doesn't ha quite have the concept of um, what happened to sin at the cross. He knows through the death and resurrection of um, Jesus Christ that uh, we were all recreated in Christ. However, um, he doesn't understand what it means for the cross to have taken away sin. Um, we've talked about this before. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Uh, Paul said it was taken away and it was it was in the body of Jesus Christ and nailed to a tree and it was taken away um, and that and also what was taken away away was the um, the law and its commandments so that was also nailed to a tree and abolished and um, so this person was talking about how he knows that he and understands and that he is new creation. However, he's asking for people's patience and people need to have patience for himself and others because of their flesh, that they still have the flesh to contend with and to battle with. And um, so even though everybody is saved in his eyes and in the new creation, he still believes that everybody's still battling with sin in their flesh. And uh, so I explained to him how that's not correct and that, um, first of all, the sin of the world that condemned us all was the sin of the sin of Adam and that was taken away by the cross. What was also taken away was the law of the commandments. So um, where there is no law, there is no transgression. So sins against the law um, no longer exist. There is no law to condemn them. That means there's no law to condemn them as a person, as a creation, or to even to condemn their flesh. This is a horrible uh, um, construing of doctrine that has come out of Christianity that is still in their paradigm and in their way they see th themselves. And what is really horrible about that is because there's still an inner conflict. There should be no inner conflict. There should be none whatsoever because even Paul talked about loving your flesh. So what I'm trying to tell you is neither you are condemned nor your flesh is condemned. And, the, and there, there should not be this inner conflict or even a division in oneself over such an issue. Um, you should be in total harmony with yourself with the knowledge that you are not condemned and um, that is the truth of the gospel sin has been taken away the law has been taken away there is no condemnation for all who are in christ jesus which is the new creation which is everybody so um god declared declared peace with mankind and you also thanks to the gospel can declare peace with yourself I know it's revolutionary, folks, but have a revolutionary week.